wrapping up the three habits in 30 minutes. We spent some time talking about getting exercise, uh, reading, and praying. And um, the caveat to the praying that we talked about, the whole thankfulness exercise, um, that only takes three to five minutes. That still leaves you <clears throat> five to eight minutes um, for a lot of for that prayer uh, time. So in addition to thinking about things that you're thankful for, in addition to thinking about things that you should ask for, um, I always try to do some meditation. Um, and I don't even really like to call it meditation because a lot of us guys especially get kind of hung up on the concept of meditation. So what I do is I call it my morning me time. And basically it's just 10 minutes of um, just basically meditating, but it's really just organizing my thoughts for the day, getting my, uh, my plan of action, kind of my course of attack, if you will. Um, there's a couple of resources that I use that really help me with that, um, which leads me to my podcast and book that I'm going to plug for today. Whoa, I'm falling down the side of the hill. Uh, oh yeah, by the way, there's a oh, waterfall. So the um, podcast I want to plug is um, Motherhood Unstressed. You've probably heard me talk about Liz Carlisle before. Uh, she's been a guest on the show. She helped me launch my podcast, but she has a podcast where she interviews people <clears throat> at motherhoodandstress.com, but she also has these meditations that she puts up there, and she just has a really calming voice, a very relaxing presence, and I find and their meditations are pretty short, so she's a great resource um, to get uh, meditation to listen to. Um, there are plenty of other resources that are free that eventually ask you to pay, like apps for your phone. Um, those are great and everything, and if you find benefit from them, that's awesome. Um, I'm not a big fan of having to pay for that kind of stuff. So, um, Motherhood Unstressed is a podcast. The book I want to plug for today, that kind of fits in this same vein, is called The Power of the Subconscious Mind. Um, it's Joseph, Dr. Joseph something or another, I can't remember exactly, like Campbell, Joseph Campbell, I believe is uh, the author. And really kind of goes into how the subconscious mind works and how you can control some of that or use some of that to your benefit. Um, it's a little bit out there, but it's a really good read and there's some great benefit that you can gain from that. So I encourage you to check that out. The other resource that I want to share, the resource that I found that I really like a lot is on YouTube again. It's um, Michael Seeley, um, S-E-A-L-L-E-Y, I believe. Um, he has a whole channel dedicated to nothing but meditations and I found him on YouTube just by chance I think he's English or from England he's got a cool accent but um, his meditations for me have been just amazing um, so to get into that process all I really do the way that I started if you go listen to the three habits in 30 minutes podcast episode you'll hear more about this but just finding a quiet space after you've gotten up after you've had your moment of thankfulness finding a space that you can um, set aside to be thankful for. Oh, look, there's a part I coming through. Um, and just finding that quiet alone space. Um, the way that I started doing it and that way that I kind of suggest to some people is really weird and goofy, but like I literally took a pile of clean clothes and put it in my closet and just kind of molded a big comfy cushy chair out of it and just set that up. And that was my spot for probably like the first week that I did it. Um, but what I liked about the process of doing that is it really kind of set my tone for the day and it really kind of helped me focus on the things I needed to get done. It gave me clarity for my long-term goals. So I found a lot of benefit from that. So um, there he goes. He <laughs> uh, probably think I'm such an idiot. I'm literally on the side of a hill. Uh, I jumped the fence to hop down here. So. Surprised it didn't fuss at me, but anyway, so yeah, so that's the morning, uh, that's it, man. That's the morning routine. So, like, the first thing I do is I get up, I do my thankful thing, I do the little bit of meditation, I spend some time reading, um, and that really kind of it's amazing how I'll figure out something that I need to get done, it's something that I wasn't necessarily thinking about that I'll pick up through that meditation process, and then I go exercise, and that can also be kind of a meditative process as well if you're, um, if you're running or getting out in the woods like this. So. Man, it's getting thick out here and I'm getting some looks. So I'm going to wrap this up. But uh, don't forget to check out the Extraordinary Podcast. Um, www8 Latest episode with Tiffany Farrig. Um, 
There's going to be some more resources on that page as well. Extraordinary, extraordinarypodcast.net is still under construction. I know it's it's terribly frustrating for me, and it's kind of a little bit out of my control. So bear with me as that's um, going through that process. But when it does, when it is up, it's going to be great. So um, the other thing I want to commit to is at some point in the very near future, maybe on Sunday, I'm going to have one of these Facebook posts that is just a meditation. I'm going to set up the camera, something similar to this, and just kind of walk you through a few things that I find some benefit when I start my day with. So, see if mine can help you out if you can't find anyone else enjoying it. So, anyway, thanks, and we'll see you tomorrow.